guys welcome back to my channel so if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for clicking to watch my video hey guys well again <laughs> so i decided to try out the butterfly distressed messy full locks look mm -hmm. these are the in thing now and i'm like girl you're gonna get one yourself yeah so when i started seeing the old butterfly distressed locks going around on instagram pinterest and youtube i wanted them for myself but i wanted long ones and it would have been a chore like a huge chore if i had had to install them individually on my full head of air so what i decided to do was go the crochet route yes and thanks to love it speaks she uploaded a very helpful video on how to create your own crochet butterfly locks distressed 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 locks <laughs> which was what i followed i also have a video which is gonna come in after this one so you wanna keep on watching turn on the post notification bell if you haven't done so already so you get to know when that video goes up okay and also if you're yet to subscribe baby boo baby boo what are you waiting for? yeah what are you waiting for? come on please kindly hit the subscribe button down below and also smash the notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And yes, let's be friends, let's be family, okay? And um, just keep on watching. You wanna see how I installed it? Yep, I'm hoping to kill this look, guys. <laughs> so this is the braiding pattern I'll be working with. I have single braids at the front and then just regular cornrows in the middle and then one row of single braids as well at the back i just went ahead and um tucked in the ends of the cornrows so i can flatten them as much as possible Now these are the locks I'm going to be working with. I hand made them using um, a passion twist air. So if you want to see how I did that, please stay tuned. Turn on your notification bell, the notification bell, so you can get notified when I post that video because that video is coming, going to be coming next. So I'm just installing the single locks at the back. What I did was crochet the full locks through the braided air. Then I take the end of the full locks and pull it through the uh, of the air. After which I pull in the single braid into the full lock just to hide them i have clips that are slowed down towards the end of the video that is when i do the front section you see what it is that i'm talking about i guess it's best for you to watch them for you to hear me talk about how i did it okay so just chill out and watch till when I get to the front thing. You understand what it is that I'm talking about.
now we're in the fun section and doing the individual method i hope you do understand what it is that you're watching let me know if you found this video helpful because we always give it one last try yeah you've watched me break a thousand times now i'm all alone because you never show you say you will so two, two things you want to bear in mind make sure that well when you're creating the locks from scratch make sure you create a wide enough loop and also make sure that the the base of the full locks is thick enough and has enough space or is wide enough for the size of um, the braids that you're going to create now given that i already pre-made the full lock now the mistake was mine for not for not cre creating my individual braids in a size that would easily pass through this full lock so that is why you can see here that i'm struggling with pulling my braids into the full locks so you definitely want to bear that in mind the size of your individual braids greatly depends on the size of the locks that you're working with we learn every day don't we <laughs> So that's it guys. I was feeling myself, I was feeling like a rasta woman, you guys. You guys. <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by hitting this thumbs up button and sharing my video. Also please leave me a comment, let me know if you did enjoy it. And until the next one, stay blessed, stay safe. Bye.